Hey guys, I'm going to show you what to do on Smart Music. Now that you've created an account and you've joined a class, what do all these things mean? So if you've got only one class, then when you open up Smart Music, it'll look something like this. Now I've got all of these assignments here and stuff that I've already done could be right there if I've done anything. If not, then, well, here are my assignments. Um, just worry about that for now. I will make separate videos to explore all of this stuff on this side. But I've got an assignment here. Um, I see that all these ones here in red are overdue. Oh, no. What a bad student. Okay. I'm going to click on that first assignment. And it's going to come up looking like this. So I'm going to click on complete assignment and choose my instrument. I've got my flute out right now, so I'm going to pick the flute and open it up. I'm going to take a moment to load. I'm doing this from my house. The internet's not so good here. And then it'll show up the instructions. Now, a lot of this general instruction will be the same every time. These part instructions change, so I, I really ask you to read through this. Specifically, this one's only asking me to submit section B. I need to pay attention to articulation and expression, ties, slurs, and dynamics. This will appear slightly different than our printed music. And I'll just write a bunch of stuff on there. It changes for every assignment. All right. Well, here's my assignment. It's only highlighted the part that I got to work on. I mean, I can practice the rest of the tune if I wanted to. But I only got to do section B. Okay, now how do I do that? First, let's pay attention to these buttons right here. This play button is for practicing. This record button is to record or to assess you. So if I play the press the play button, it will give me a count off and play the music. And it will keep playing the music even though I don't have to do that part. So, do you see how the cursor stopped right there? Because that's where I pause. If I want to go back to B, I just click at the beginning of B. If I want to start on this beat, I'll start on that beat. If I want to start on this one right here, I'll start right there. Just click on it and that's where it is. Um, now I see a note. I don't know what it is. So you see here on the cursor onto the left, these buttons right here, and it shows me how do I play that A flat or also known as G sharp on the flute. There's the fingering chart. Sweet. If I come over here and I see, it's kind of hard to see it because of the forte, but there's this thing right here. It plays the note for me. That's what it sounds like. Okay, now this other button here, record, it just, it judges me, it starts giving me a grade. So if I press this record button, it needs to test my microphone. So you can unplug your headphones, make sure that this, that the speakers, make sure the microphone can hear the speakers, okay? It didn't hear it. Yeah, it's unplugged, I don't have it in there. Let me try. That didn't work. Okay, fine. Be that way. Let me try this. Sometimes it's just too quiet. What if I did that? There, we got it. All right. At this point, you've already tested it. You can plug your headphones back in so that you don't have to hear your family doesn't have to hear the background that the computer doesn't pick up the background music and it's just in your ears okay oh it's starting <laughs> That means that I got it right. These red notes, that it means that I got it wrong. Okay. And up here, it shows me my total percent. I got 67% on that. You need to shoot for 90% or above. Now, it shows me that I also have it at 120 beats per minute, which is this number right here. It was too hard. It was too fast. So I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to go with 100. I'm going to type in 100. I'm going to try that again. Uh, let's, let's have it test me. Still too fast. Well, the thing is.
is totally listening to itself. I'm not even playing. Did you see that? I wasn't playing and it's listening to itself. So you got to make sure to keep your volume low on these assignments. I'm going to drop that. Okay. It was still too fast. I'm going to take it down even slower. Okay. Let's try that again. Ah, I got more notes that time. Sweet. And then you just practice it. Okay. I'm going to revert it back to the original tempo right up here. It's 1 and 20. And I'm going to see if I can get 100 on this. Oops. I got 90%. If I'm satisfied with that, then sure, I could submit it. But I am not. So I will try again. Ta -da. Now I got 100%. So I've got here on my takes, I scroll down here and it shows me everything that I've, you know, recorded. But I decided that I like that one the best. So the next thing that I do is not delete, not save. If I save, it just downloads the audio. And we might do that in the future, though. I might try and figure out how to, like, splice all these videos together, and then we have our concert just in case it doesn't happen. I click on Submit. Do I want to mention anything about it? I don't know. If I was having an issue, maybe the program kept telling me my B was wrong. Okay? It wasn't in this submission, but some sometimes, like, Things like that will happen, and I will listen to the recordings that you submit and adjust your grade according. So I submit it, it's uploaded, ta da, done. And that is how I submit an assignment. Any questions? Let me know.